This video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on admission of a partner. I wish to solve one sum here before you. On admission of a partner, observe the sum which I intend to solve. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. Fear, tear and dear are the partners sharing profits and losses in the proportion of 3 is to 3 is to 2. The balance sheet of the firm as on 31st of 2016 was as under. On asset side you are given building, machinery, stock, data, furniture, profit and loss account, cash balance, capital accounts, fear, tier, dear, bills payable, general reserve, workman compensation fund. On 1st of April 2016 they admitted here on the following terms. In the new firm, here share will be one fifth. This share he gets from fear and tear in the ratio of 3 to 2. So you are given sacrificing ratio of 3 to 2. Here we bring cash 7600 for his share of goodwill. Half of this amount is to be retained in the business. Here we bring such an amount in cash by way of his capital so as to keep rupees 28,800 as the opening cash balance in the new firm. This is an important adjustment relevant to capital adjustment. This will decide how much capital is required to be brought or is required from a new partner. The firm assets and liabilities should be revalued re as followed. Follows machinery to be depreciated by 10%. Building is to be appreciated by 20%. Reserve for budget is to be raised. 2 rupees 1800, furniture to be revalued at 1200, stock is to be revalued at 26,800, provide 400 for reserve for discount on debtors. You are required to prepare profit and loss adjustment account, capital account, and the balance sheet of a new firm after admission of a partner. Let me start with the sum. So, here I am going to prepare profit and loss adjustment account, cash account, partner's capital account, balance sheet after admission. The first step for the purpose of solving the sum is to start with revaluation adjustment. Consider the revaluation adjustment. I will bring revaluation adjustment one by one and give its effect, give its relevant effect. So, machinery is to be depreciated by 10%. Look at the machinery in the balance sheet, 20,000. So, 20,000 is the book value. 10% reduction there at 2000 being lost debited to profit and loss adjustment account and the new value 18,000 is recorded in the balance sheet after admission. This is how first revaluation adjustment is considered profit and loss adjustment account debit to machinery account credit 2000 is the journal rate. Next building is to be appreciated by 20% building is 36,000 20% there on is 7200 so 7200 increase in the value of building being gained recorded to the credit side of profit and loss adjustment account and new value 43200 will appear in the balance sheet building reported in a balance sheet after admission 43200 third adjustment reserve for bad debt is to be raised to 1000 already existing reserve is 1000 so additional reserve required is 800. So 17,000 are the debtors. The book value of the reserve is 1,000. Provision required 1,800. So additional provision to be made 800. So profit and loss adjustment account is debited for bad debt. Profit and loss adjustment account debit to bad debt reserve account credit. And the bad debt reserve deducted from debtors will be 1,800. So debtors reported in the outer column 15,200. Next, furniture to be revalued at 1200, it book value is 2000, valued at 1200, so reduction 800, decrease in value of furniture being lost, debited to profit and loss adjustment account, and new value of furniture recorded on the balance sheet asset side. So this is how fourth adjustment is considered. Now, next, stock to be revalued at 26,800. Stock is 25,000. Revalued at 26,800. Increase in value 1800. Credited to profit and loss adjustment account. So, journal and stock account debit to profit and loss adjustment account credit. New value of stock appears in the balance sheet 
26,800. This is how these adjustments are considered. Now, provide rupees 400 for reserve for discount on creditors. So, creditors are 9,000. We are going to earn a discount of 400 when we try to pay the creditors. So, discount is likely to be earned on payment of creditors being gained, recorded to the credit side of profit and loss adjustment account. So, discount is on creditors, credited 400 over here. Now, next step, copy the remaining details of the balance sheet. Profit and loss account, debit balance 4000, distributed in the profit sharing ratio. You know that profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 3 is to 2. So, 4000 rupees are required to be distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2. So, 4000 into 3 by 8, 4000 into 3 by 8, 4000 into 2 by 8. Share of year in loss 1500, share of tier in loss 1500, share of dear in loss 1000. This is a share in loss debited to the capital accounts of the partners. So, fear, tier, and dear capital account debit to profit and loss account credit. Cash balance will appear as opening balance in cash account. Bills payable will appear on the balance sheet liability side. General reserve 2000 is required to be distributed in the profit sharing ratio. So, 3 is to 3 is to 2 is the profit sharing ratio in which general reserve is required to be distributed. Look at the working note that I prepare for you. 2000 into 3 by 8 share of fear. 2000 into 3 by 8 share of tear. 2000 into 2 by 8 share of dear. And this is a share in undistributed profit. So, it is credited to the capital accounts of the partners. So, fear tear and dear capital account is credited with 750, 750 and 500. Now workman compensation fund, there is no liability for compensation to the workers. So a provision without liability is to be treated as reserve. So workman compensation fund 8000 will be distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2. So share of year, tier and dear 3000, 3200 that will be credited to the capital accounts of the partners. So, workman compensation fund, year, year and year, credited to the capital account. Now, balance of capital account brought down, 30,000, 30,000, 20,000. This is how capital balances are recorded, balance sheet details are considered. Now, close this profit and loss adjustment account. Whatever the profit or loss that is there, that should be distributed in the profit sharing ratio amongst three partners, that is 3 is to 3 is to 2. So, Close profit and loss adjustment account, distribute profit or loss, whatever it may be, in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2. So, total of credit side, 9,400 minus 3,600. So, this is a profit 5,800, distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 3 is to 2. And it is credited to the capital accounts of the part of year, tier and year. This is how revaluation profit or profit or profit and loss adjustment account is distributed amongst partners. Now, third step is over. Fourth step, goodwill point. Consider the premium adjustment. Here, will bring 7,600 for a share of goodwill. Half the amount is to be retained. Whatever the amount is brought by here will be distributed among sacrificing partners in the ratio of sacrificing without raising goodwill account. So, in a new firm, here share will be one-fifth. This share he gets from peer and tier in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So 3 is to 2 is the sacrificing ratio. Amount brought 7,600. Cash account debit to premium account credit. And premium is distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So share of fear 7,600 into 3 by 5. Share of tier 7,600 into 3 by 5. So this is how the premium is distributed. Half the premium is to be withdrawn. Half of this amount is to be retained in the business, means half the amount is withdrawn. So half of this 1460 and 3040, 30, half of it is amount withdrawn by fear and tear. And the amount withdrawn by fear and tear will be debited to the capital accounts of the partners. So capital account is debited half of 4560280, half of 3040 is 1520. This is the drawings of fear and tear, fear and tear account debit to cash account credit, so cash account is to be credited for that. This is the amount given to fear and tear. This is how goodwill adjustment is considered. Now I want to consider the last point is the capital adjustment. Consider the capital adjustment. 
here will bring such an amount in cash by way of his capital so as to keep 28,800 is the opening cash balance in the new firm. So the balance at the time of admission, after admission of a part of the balance in cash account should be 28,800. So this is the closing balance 28,800 that will appear in the balance sheet. Now missing number is the amount to be brought by new partner. So total of credit side 32,600 minus 7,000, 8,600, 24,000. This is the amount of capital that here is required to bring cash account debit to here's capital account credit 24,000. Now close the capital accounts of the partners. <clears throat> here credit side total 40,485 minus 1,502,280. You will get the balance carried down. 36,705. Same way, if you work out for tier and year, the closing balance is 35,945, 22,955, total of credit minus total of debit, and the capital of here will be 24,000. And this capital will appear on the balance sheet liability side here, tier, dear, and here. So this is the total capital. Now have a total of balance sheet. Balance sheet total should agree. That is a sign for V to be right in the sum. So total of assets and liabilities works out to be 1,33,200, 1,33,200. This is how sum on admission of a partner is being solved here before you. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all.